I have chosen my tomatoes, I think, for 2024. My 2024 tomatoes are chosen. Also, my 2024 peppers are chosen. There's Mr. Pickles. Hi, baby. Um, so, first of all, I want to show you the tomatoes that I put in the yes box. This is the yes box. Will it stay the yes box? I'm not sure because there's too many. But these are the ones I really, really want to grow. We'll see. Okay. Um, sweet Splash Electra Variegated. That's a yes. Uh, this Dwarf CC McGee. That's a yes. Now the dwarfs, these are not micro dwarfs. These are larger dwarfs. They'll probably get, what, three to five feet, I think is considered a dwarf. Anyway, I'm going to do the Jarson 18 slash three that I got from Mrs. Tomato Head. These next few are from Mrs. Tomato Head. Uh, Uptown Funk. Uh, Bananas Noir, which is Mr. and Mrs. Tomato Head's uh, creation. They made this one, so I'm excited to grow it. Um, and then the Shimmer Fury. The Shimmer Fury is also um, variegated and it's a dwarf, so that can go in a pot. A big rainbow tomato because I want that big slicer. Okay, so I have to grow my big ones. Um, of course, black semen. Rebel Starfighter Prime. Pretty sure I have to grow all the Star, Star Wars ones that I know for sure are Star Wars ones. This Kazula 224. I'm doing both of my Kazula. So Kazula 224. And then I have a Kazula 156. Doing those. Um, Golden Heart of America. Just because that picture, it's just orange and heart-shaped and just thick and meaty in there. That just looked tasty. It looked like a big old peach. A uh, Dark Galaxy Tomato. I think that was one of the ones I said. I was not sure if that's one of the Star Wars ones. I don't think it is. I don't think it's it is. A Rebel Starfighter VT-16. That's a green, green stripey, cool looking one. Um, this... I function giant, it's that big one, it looks like junction, but it's I U I function. I've, I've, anyway, I'm not gonna butcher that anymore. And then this Murado, Murado Andalusia. This is one of my free seeds that I got from Carolina's Paradise. And I'm growing this one for sure because she wrote tasty on it. So I have to, it's tasty. Okay. And then I have the uh, girls, girls, girl, girls, wild thing, uh, weird thing, so wild thing. <laughs> anyway, it's not a tone milk song. Uh, and then this Oaxacan jewel because it looks beautiful and it looks like it's going to be a big one. I'm going to tell you these all I think are going to look similar. I might plant them close just to see how similar they look. This big rainbow the Oaxacan Jewel, and I believe I have a hillbilly. Hillbilly, yeah. They all have that yellow, orange, red, streaky kind of a look. So that's going to be fun. Uh, Moonlight Mile Variegated Tomato. Do that one. I kind of want to do all my variegateds too as well. Uh, Cosmic Eclipse Tomato. It's another one of those that's probably not Star Wars related. Uh, Painted Lady Variegated because it's variegated. And then the Napa Chardonnay because wine. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm. Delicious. Oh, world's smallest tomato. I am gonna do that one. Now that one is an indeterminate, and apparently it's a little weedy. And I think what it is is like the original species tomato when they were first discovered down in South America. So there's gonna be little teeny tiny little berries, a really tall gangly thing which I think I might train along the potage of fencing, like I do my grapes, just have this vine of red tomatoes along with my grapes. I think that sounds lovely. Something like that, I will write in my book, in my notes, as my garden ideas, because I have these ideas and they seem genius. And a day later, I forget, I've forgotten about them because I didn't write it down and I've moved on to other things. So, planner, anyway back to this uh we have dwarf rs dippers delight oh this is the rebel starfighter dippers delight we're doing that one because it's the star wars one and then the napa rose blush because wine pardon wine makes me belch 
or it's the talking. It's either the talking or the one. I don't know. Um, Cherokee variegated. Because it's variegated. Okay. And then evergreen tomato. Because I do want to grow more uh, green when ripe tomatoes. This will be my first year to do so. So we have um, that Rebel Starfighter VT16. We have uh, this one, the evergreen. And then uh, we have Phil's 2. That's also green when ripe. Um, so yeah, this will be my first year and I have three. Now there's another one, a dwarf that I bought, green stripey, green something. Maybe that's in my maybe box. I don't remember because it's been a week. Um, Dr. Witch's yellow, Dr. Witch's, Witch's, Witch's. I've had these seeds since the end of 2020. These are packed for 2021, but I bought, I remember buying the seeds like around December 2020. I still haven't gotten a big one. I got a few small ones and they, the taste was phenomenal. I dehydrated some and dehydrated. They, the flavor was amazing. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and use up the rest of this packet. Maybe I got a bad batch, but I just never could get these to take off. I never could get them to grow. I never could get them to really produce. I don't know if it's the tomatoes or if it's me. Bella, stop, honey. Bella's being whiny. No. So we're just gonna finish up that packet is why I'm growing those this year. And then uh, the Starfighter beefsteak and Marsha's Starfighter beefsteak. I'm gonna grow these side by side, labeled appropriately, just so I can see if they're the same tomato. I think they're the same tomato. I'll just do one of each. Yeah, maybe two of each. I like to have an air and a spare, you know? And then the German red strawberry, just cause that looks fun. That looks fun, really cute. Uh, and last one, last one in the yes box is um, this Chef's Choice Black that I got from Gary over at Gary's uh, Grow Your Own Food. Um, it's from Hostels, Hostel Seeds. So these are the ones for sure that I'm gonna grow. It's a lot. I only have what, I have three towers there in the middle. And then I've got one, two, three other towers spread out in the potage. Since these are, most of these are indeterminates, I need to grow them on that tower so that I can pin them as they get taller. I believe there's 34 tomatoes in here, 34. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you my maybe pile. These are maybes that I also really wanna grow, but maybe I should wait till next year. Maybe I should grow them in the fall. Maybe I don't know what to do. Okay, so if you could help me pick five more. I think I want five more. Yeah, help me put in the comments. Put in the comments which five of these you think I should do. I've got this chocolate fruit jelly tomato. Name's cool. And then I have the werewakawai, werewakawai tomato. This is actually a dwarf indeterminate. It's gonna keep producing. I think a lot of the dwarfs these days, micro dwarfs and dwarfs um, are indeterminate. I think they just keep producing. They don't keep growing taller, but they keep producing tomatoes is what they mean by indeterminate for these dwarfs, I think. Um, this golden Jubilee tomato, just cause the orange, the orange and yellow ones just for some reason in my mind taste better. Maybe they just remind me of peaches. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Dwarf mint streak. Dwarf mint streak. Should I do that one? I think I kind of want to. It's a dwarf. It's green when ripe. Mint streak. Let me know. Um, and then this uh, brown sugar. Just because, I mean, I picked it. I just got it. Obviously, I'm interested. I have too many options. Wooly Kate yellow. Wooly Kate. Just got it. I just don't know. It's a hard maybe, it's a hard maybe. Uh, fuzzy, fuzzy blue balls. Actually, I kind of want to grow Wooly Kate and fuzzy blue balls together because I bet they're the same ding dang tomato or something very close that two different people came up with and gave them different names, but actually they're quite the same. That's my thoughts anyway. Uh, this Italian Roma, never grown Roma. I've grown the San Marzano, did not have Incredibly good luck yet last year because my soils, I think, but my soils are better this year. Um, so I don't know. 
Um, also patio choice yellow because it did really good for me last year, right? It was so prolific, so prolific. I had tomatoes coming out of everywhere. But do I want to give this one a break to give others a chance? Yeah, sun gold. I think I put sun gold in the, in the maybes because I grew it last year. But people said you should always grow it because it tastes good, right, Lilith? You have to have at least one. And then the sun gold select. I was thinking if I grew the sun gold and the sun gold select, and then I could compare the taste. I, I, maybe I just need to buy more poles. They have the, the only air conditioner cut off finally. It's December and the air's on. <laughs> it's like 70 degrees this morning, so. Um, this morning, okay. But we have a cool front coming, that's fine. I, maybe I could get some of those 11 foot poles. They're kind of pricey. I'm spending more on the infrastructure <laughs> than on the actual dollar amount of the produce I'm producing. I don't know if y'all have that problem. Anyway, we've been I've been talking 16 minutes. Um, this H34 rose tomato, the sort of core sister of hearts. Maybe it's a maybe. Gold berries is a maybe. It's like I want to, but I wish I had the room. If I had the room, I would grow all of all of them. But you know. Uh, Streets of Broken Lanterns, just because the name, Streets of Broken Lanterns, and the picture did look pretty. So that's in my maybe pile. Purple Strawberry is in my maybe pile. And Ace 55 is in my maybe pile because it's reliable and it makes good size, uniformly shaped canning tomatoes. It's a maybe. Last one is Noir de Cosbeuf, Noir de Cosbeuf. It's like that uh, ribbed, ribbed French one. So those are my maybes. Um, if you would like to name a couple of those in the comments, doesn't have to be five. Name a couple of these that you think I definitely should give a chance this year and not wait till next year. Because next year I'm just going to rotate them out. Next year I'm going to do something else. But if there's something you really want to see this year, let me know. Okay, um, real quick, those are my tomatoes. Real quick, I wanna show you the peppers that I'm doing this year. Um, these I'm definitely doing there. I don't have as big of a pepper collection yet. So these I'm definitely doing, um, and I'm gonna start these seeds this weekend. This is Christmas weekend, starting seeds this weekend. Okay, for sure, we're doing the Tabasco pepper. We're doing the shishitos because these were so delicious. Loved them. We're going to do the Bikino red and yellow blend. I've got some in the let pot. Pardon. I did the yellow ones last year outside. Loved them. Great little snacking pepper. I didn't quite grow enough to pickle them because I heard they're great pickled. Um, but I didn't grow enough. I would just go out there and have ones and twosies and just eat them. So... This year I'm growing um, more. Like I need six or eight of each. I do have the space for those because they're low growing. They don't have to be like staked eight feet in the air. Anyway, um, sweet banana peppers. My husband likes them. I finally realized or he finally explained after I jarred up, uh, pickled some, he prefers them fresh. I thought he wanted them pickled because he was buying the jars of pickled ones to put on his sandwiches. And he's like, no, I had to get the jars because you can't find them fresh in the store. I'm like, oh, well, you should have said something. Communication in a marriage. Yeah, it's important. Uh, Serrano chili Spanish varieties. Got these from CC. Uh, the lemon drop, ahi lemon drop, because I had so much fun with them this year and I brought them into work. People loved them. So we're gonna do those again. And then habaneros, because I didn't do any this year, but I did them last year. So I think we'll just finish up that packet right there, habaneros. I have people I can give them to. <laughs> uh, Megatron jalapeno, of course, Megatron, because I want those big ones so I can do Peter Pepper poppers. Popper Pepper Pippers, okay? Whatever you call them, scorpions. Bacon wrapped cream cheese jalapenos. Sometimes you put a little shrimp in there. Mmm, no. Sometimes you could add some cheddar or something into the cream cheese. I know there's things you could do to make them delicious. Usually bacon and cream cheese is enough though. Bacon and cream cheese on anything. 
Mm -hmm. um, and then this Basia Bahio. I had a hard time getting these started last year. And then the three that I did have that got going and stayed alive, I think they got stunted or something because I planted them out in the beds and they never grew. They just sat there like three inches tall forever. I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do better. Oh, and then the, and then the orange sun, of course, because that's pretty. I think I'm gonna do a section, like mark off a section that's just bell peppers and have all the pretty bells going on. So it's gonna be the orange sun. It's gonna be the um, Keystone Resistant Giant and the Purple Beauty. That's gonna be cute. Just a patch of pretty rainbow peppers. Yeah, love that. Anyway, um, also I'm doing the Jimmy Nardello again. I will do them every year because they are sweet and delicious and prolific and they like my garden. They liked me, they grew for me. So we'll keep doing that. Ancho Poblano, cause I've never grown them before, so I have to. And then the Porno de Toro Red, these. I only got one batch last year. It's almost like they were determinants or something, like a determinant bush pepper. I got one batch of peppers and after I harvested them, they didn't do anything else. Is that a thing? I mean, I don't know. It's a sweet Italian grilling pepper, but is it determinate? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and then black magic jalapenos. I got these in a seed swap uh, from Indiana Backyard Gardener. Oh, I wonder if she's doing that again. I need to check because that was amazing, but that was a lot of work. I wouldn't blame her if she didn't. She did amazing for us, and that was a lot of work. So thank you, Adrian, for doing that. Um, and then, hold on, let me get the one I dropped. Oh, I dropped a tomato too, the Carib. The Carib tomato was in my maybes. Um, giant Marconi, giant Marconi pepper. Same as the Corno de Toro, one harvest and it was done. It was weird. And it could have been our crazy, hot, horrible summer. The worst summer that anyone should ever experience. I don't ever wanna go through that summer again. Anyway, it could have been that. Anyway, last but not least, this one I'm the most excited about is this Tunisian Bakluti. Bakluti. Because the picture is gorgeous. It just makes them look rich and sweet and a little fiery and delicious. I wanna grill them up and maybe put some cream cheese and bacon. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so. I think that's enough. I think that this, I've, I've already been talking 23 minutes and this is the second, second, second week of filming. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Probably get those started this weekend. Uh, the peppers anyway. Tomatoes, I may wait another week. We'll see. Don't want to get too crazy, but I want to get them in earlier than I did last year. I still, for some reason, was thinking my last frost date was March 20th. So I planted them out later than I should have when my last frost date, I think, is March 7th. Um, and I was listening to Gary and I think he puts his out, uh, around Valentine's day. I'm doing it too. I'm putting, well, maybe I should start them this weekend. I'm putting my tomatoes out in, um, uh, February. Peppers can wait, but I need to get them started now because they take longer to get germinated. They need that heat. But I'm going to tell you, um, I learned a secret from Rebecca at Little Foot Ranch, I believe is to, uh, with your peppers, after you get them in their little cell trays, the seeds, is to pour some, not right off the stove boiling water, but boil some water, and let it sit for a minute, not very long, it needs to be hot, hot. Water them in with hot, hot water, okay? Or maybe just put a drop of hot water with an eyedropper, but that heat wakes them up and it doesn't kill them, okay? It doesn't, no, I did it last year, it worked, it worked, um, anyway. Okay. Ooh, I think that was a cough and a sneeze at the same time. That was very confusing. Anyway, I got to get outside and get something done before the rains come. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.